Hey, church family, it's another day, another psalm. Today we're in Psalm 94. I'm going to read the entire thing and offer just a few quick, quick reflections on it. Um, let's read Psalm 94 together. 94. O Lord, God of vengeance, O God of vengeance, shine forth. Rise up, O judge of the earth, repay to the proud what they deserve. O Lord, how long shall the wicked how long shall the wicked exult? They pour out their arrogant words, all the evildoers boast. They crush your people, O Lord, and afflict your heritage. They kill the widow and the sojourner, and murder the fatherless. And they say, the Lord does not see, the God of Jacob does not perceive. Understand, O dullest of the people, fools, when will you be wise? He who planted the ear... Does he not hear? He who formed the eye, does he not see? He who disciplines the nations, does he not rebuke? He who teaches man knowledge, the Lord, knows the thoughts of man, that they are but a breath. Blessed is the man whom you discipline, O Lord, and whom you teach out of your law, to give him rest from days of trouble until a pit is dug for the wicked. For the Lord will not forsake his people, he will not abandon his heritage, for justice will return to the righteous, and all the upright in heart will follow it. Who rises up for me against the wicked? Who stands up for me against evildoers? If the Lord had not been my help, my soul would soon have lived in the land of silence. When I thought my foot slips, your steadfast love, O Lord, held me up. When the cares of my heart are many, your consolations cheer my soul. Can wicked rulers be allied with you, those who frame injustice by a statute? They band together against the life of the righteous and condemn the innocent to death. But the Lord has become my stronghold and my God the rock of my refuge. He will bring back on them their iniquity and wipe them out for their wickedness. The Lord our God will wipe them out. So, you'll see that a big theme in this psalm is vengeance, is this idea of just recompense, a just repaying of actions. And ultimately, I think, although this psalm is speaking about vengeance, the main message for God's people here is one of rest, right? The, the psalmist is saying, O oh Lord, you are the God of vengeance. You are the one who promises to avenge your people, to avenge inju injustice. So Lord, help us to rest in this truth. Again, we see one of those, if you remember from an earlier psalm, that in the mud question, how long, O oh Lord, how long shall the wicked exult? In other words, how long will it, the wicked seem to prevail over the righteous? There's a description in verses four through seven of the wicked, how they act, how they speak um, without any regard for the Lord or his law. And then verses eight through 11 give this, this beautiful turn that help us to remember because God is the creator, he will protect and rule over his creation. He who planted the ear, does he not hear? He who formed the eye, does he not see? And he who disciplines the nations, does he not rebuke? Do we really imagine the Lord to be deaf, blind, and mute? No, the Lord is living and active. We see evidence of that in scripture, and we see evidence of it today in the preaching of his word, the hearing of his word, and the leading of the Holy Spirit. The Lord is active and is moving in your life even now and in the broader events of the world. And the psalm ends again with this call to rest. Verses 18 and 19 I thought were particularly beautiful and helpful to me. Um, when I thought that my foot might slip, it was the steadfast love of the Lord that held me up. When the cares of my heart are overwhelming, you the Lord's consolations, the Lord's promises, the Lord's words cheer my soul. Friend, where are you turning to to accomplish all that you worry about? Do you expect to do it on your own strength? Or do you look to the God of vengeance 
the God of steadfast love, the God who delights to cheer your soul.